I wanted to give you guys an update on the kitties. Oh. So I'm staying here. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy that. All right, so the first question we're gonna answer that you guys have been asking is- The college I will be going to. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh,
um just because i've always wanted to go to maine and now that i have an entire summer of nothing and my mom gets us free flights i can just go to maine when i want so i might do that by myself just kind of turn up in maine i don't know the best thing about my summer plans is that i don't really have any plans you know so i'm gonna really just do whatever i want that's the goal let's just do whatever i want i need to go to dick sporting goods and get some weights because i need to work out but i don't want to pay for a gym membership yeah, that's the deal with me. Love y'all. I'll pass this one on to someone else. Okay, so you guys want to know what we're doing for the summer. So my personal plan is to stay right here, but not the whole summer. Uh, I'm going to be living here and working here. Uh, the My job at the golf course, uh, got I got laid off because they're doing renovations, but they said we could come back after the renovations are finished, which I plan on doing. I don't go to college until the spring, so uh, I'll, I'll have time to work and uh, time to golf because I just love golfing. Anyway, uh, looking forward right now, I've got a lot of graduation parties to go to for my friends and all that. So I'm gonna enjoy that, enjoy my friend's company because I have a couple of friends that are going for summer term uh, for college, so I wanna spend some time with them. And then at the end of May, June 1st is my birthday. I'll be up in, uh, I'll be at my aunt's house in New Jersey, so I can't wait for that. And then dribbling back to Maryland, and then I have senior week in Maryland. All of my friends up there go to uh, the beach for a week. And so I'm gonna go up and join them and have a good time because I haven't seen them in a little bit. They came down for spring break. Now I'm coming up for their senior week. It's gonna be a blast. I also apply for the Southwest camp. It's a camp for kids of Southwest employees that are in about high school, about my age. And you get to go to Dallas to their facility and kind of learn about the jobs and careers and just get a tour of the whole facility, which I think is super cool and a great opportunity. I got in the program when I applied, and so I'll be going end of June. We'll also be taking our annual Outer Banks Family Beach trip, which I'm super excited for. It's always a blast, and so I can't wait. I don't think I'll be doing Young Life Camp this year. It's a little bit pricey, and I've already done it. I want other kids to go and experience it. I've thought about it, but I think I'm gonna hold off this year. I might try to go do some programs or something somewhere, but I still am very in touch with Young Life and I'll be continuing Young Life in college. So you guys might see me around if you're involved in Young Life, I don't know. But yeah, that's basically it. I wanna work, I wanna make money, buy a car, but I also wanna travel a little bit, go see my friends, go watch some Orioles games, do whatever. I also wanna see my brother and sister because unfortunately we will not all be in the same place at the same time very often. I'm gonna enjoy this summer. It's gonna be a big transition, but I can't wait. This summer, is, I'm gonna stay in Tallahassee at school. I've got um, two jobs up there. I'll be working on a bar and the golf course. So that should be a good time. A little hot being in Florida and whatnot. It is what it is. I'm actually in Florida right now visiting my girlfriend. She's about two or three hour drive away. So hopefully I'll see her a bunch. Oh, dolphins. Over there, dolphins. That should be a, a good summer. Hopefully stack some money, study for the LSAT. Um, hopefully go to law school pretty soon here. I'll be probably going back between Maryland and Florida, a good amount. I got friends, you know, everywhere. So not to sound like that, but like, you know how it is. We'll have Florida motion, we'll have Maryland motion, we'll have work motion, we'll have studying motion, school motion. So should be a good summer. A lot of travel, but a good summer. All right, so it's gonna be a fun summer. I'm sad that everybody's gonna be scooted apart, but um, as it's turned out so far, Brennan's been here a lot, yeah. and we've seen Katie a lot, so mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be just fine, yeah. right? The next question that we're gonna answer, this is a toughie, and this is, you guys have been asking about our kitties and what has happened with the kitties. So we answered this question for our uh, fam club, which is, if you guys aren't members of our fam club, take a look at Patreon. Um, we'll put a link right down here That's and in here. It is a lot of fun. And we do Q and A's, um, not really Q and A, we have conversations, discussions, mm -hmm. and they we, we thought Live that- streams live streams that's exactly it and we shared um our updates on the kitties first with our folks at the fam club our family and i will show you what we said here okay so we have a little bit of news news um and i'm not even sure how to couch this because i feel like it's not finite like it's not like definite right but i wanted to give you guys an update on the kitties oh um 
so I've kind of come to terms with a few things, but I've never, I'm still, I haven't lost hope. So Alice went missing. If you guys remember right after I came back from um, flight attendant training, like in the beginning of October and we went out and bought those tracker things like the GPS tracker things and put one on Eddie and I bought one for, for Alice. So when she came back, I could put a GPS tracker on her too. Well, that worked for a bit until it didn't work because you have to charge it like every three days. And if I was traveling and Mike was traveling and Ryan was at school and whatever, like we wouldn't always get to it right when it, right when it, you know, went out of juice or whatever. So Eddie had his on. Well, then Eddie went missing. Um, I think it was the beginning of December. So I was like, what is happening? So anyway, I, I don't know. So they might have been adopted. They might have been. I don't, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. But my, I still have hope that eventually they're going to come back because I went down this rabbit hole and started watching YouTube videos about cats that went missing and found that like these miracle stories of cats coming back. Mm. And this one cat was a great little story. This family, uh, see, and I didn't even think to put like our phone number on wow. their little collar, which I a hundred million percent would do that. They're chipped. They're chipped. I think that's why you do chips. Right. Wow. So, but you know, if, if like a vet, like if they take me to the vet or take it to the to the SPCA, they'll look for a chip. If some little old lady who thinks the cat's cute and wants to keep the cat doesn't want to give the cat back, will not chip the cat. So anyway, I don't want to. Whatever, it, that's okay. So um, that's the cat story. That's the cat story. I was going to say something else about the. Oh, anyway, this little kitty that on um, that I saw. Um, this little kitty was like this, you know, family pet or whatever. Went so, like noodling around and ended up in like getting up into a packing crate that the packing crate was then put on a truck. The truck went to a train and it, then it went to like literally another country, like across the ocean, but they had the phone number on the cat. So when they opened this packing crate at the other side of the ocean, you know, six weeks later, or however long it was, they were able to get the number and then bring the cat back. Maybe so not. anyway, I don't know that that's what happened, but. I hesitated to talk much about it. I always said to everybody, hey, listen, when we know something, we'll tell you, which is the absolute truth. And I just kept hoping and praying and believing that they would come walking back in the door. I still, I still, 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 when I get back from trips, walk in thinking I'm going to see the cats. Wow. I dream about them all the time. Anyway, uh, whatever. That's sad, Joe. It is sad. And I miss them. Part of the family. They are part of the family. And um, we still have their food bowls out. Mm. So. There it is. Anyway. All right, so that's the update, and I wish it was better news, but um, still hopeful. So the last question that we answered is, everybody's wanting to know, of course, now that Ryan has graduated from high school, what is next for Ryan? So take it away. Where is Ryan going to college? And is Ryan going to college? Well, I don't even know. So let's talk about that a little bit, Ryan. Yeah, so uh, I've always wanted to go to college, or at least thought I've wanted to. Uh, I was in an AVID program in uh, Maryland that kind of prepared you all for college. And so uh, when it was time to apply to colleges, I applied to just a lot of Florida schools. In Florida, there's something called Bright Futures. It's a scholarship where if you meet the GPA and SAT requirements, it gets you a lot of money off your college. So it was kind of a no-brainer that I wanted to stay in Florida to go to college. Um, plus, I just love it here. Uh, my family's here. And... Um, you know, can't get much better than, than Florida. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, I applied to a decent amount of schools. I we got, visited a few schools. We visited a few. I kind of made my decision. And uh, so the college I will be going to. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, 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 oh,
if I want to just stop in, like we can just come up and right. hang out with you. Like we can go to events more often totally. than we do, let's say, at Florida State because mm -hmm. so far away. So there's a lot of development going on there. Uh, it's a growing college, and I What's can't. What's your wait. mascot? It's the Bulls. Oh, is it what you do? That's that's what what you do? Did you say oh, horns yeah. up? Is that what you said horns up? It's not this. That's Texas. No, uh, yeah, that's no, no. Horns. That, yeah, you it's want to go straight, more, more up straight up and down. More like uh. a bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it should be a blast. I'm super excited to see where it takes me. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Right. We're Thank very you. proud of you. We're very thrilled it. with your decision. Yeah, I'll be in Tampa. Let's go. You can find me there. Go Wolves. So that's the answer for you guys. Now that I'm graduated, I'll be uh, spending some time in Tampa. And uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So those are some questions. I hope that clears the air of some stuff uh, for what it looks like moving forward for our family. And uh, I hope you guys will join us for the ride. Yes. If you guys have any more questions that you want us to answer, we can do more Q&A videos. Put them in the comments below. And don't forget to take a look at joining the fam club. We'd love to have you join us on our live streams every month where we do we answer questions just like this. Absolutely. You type in a question, we can answer it. We have conversations. And it's, it's, I really love it. <laughs> it's it's uh -huh. so much fun. I have a question for the... Um... The audience, how do you fold one of these sheets with these, the bottom <laughs> sheet with all the spring? How do you fold that? Spring, the elastic, the elastic it. Take the corners, Dad. <laughs> okay. On that note. That's the way you fold it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank nice you guys thing. so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Comment down below any questions you have for us. Take care. Absolutely. Bye.